Hello everybody, welcome, it's me John, aka Nolsey, and I'm here for a brand new Transformers review. Another pickup of mine from TF Nation 2024 is none other than the King himself, SS86 Grimlock with Wheelie. Well, here he is then. Isn't he awesome? I mean, is Grimlock? Of course he's awesome. This is a figure I've been wanting to try and get my hands on for the longest time. It's a figure that I stupidly didn't get when he first released. And since then, it has become so difficult to pick this guy up for a reasonable price. Scalpers have just taken over. Scalpers have just gone ridiculous with, with prices online. And when I noticed in demand, we're getting a small stock restock of them for a couple of, a couple of events, such as TF Nation as well, and also for their online store, I thought, well, hopefully there is a chance. And at TFN 2024, I thought I'd missed out and lost out on this. But I managed to pick one up. And here is Grimlock. SSX6 Grimlock. With Wheelie. All in his awesomeness. Now just look at this guy. Let me just turn him around. Get, give you a really, really nice look. See at this figure. The colours. He looks just... It just looks like Grimlock straight from the 86 movie. Which is exactly what I want. With, from this figure. It just looks so good. The, the colours, as you see here, golds, the blues, the grey, the whites. Everything you come to know from the colour palette of this figure, or this character, it just works so, so well. I managed to pick this guy up, finally, after years of looking for him, of you know, trying to pick him up from elsewhere. And I'm, I'm just so glad to finally get him. I'm only missing... Two, um, I do have Swoop on pre-order, but for some reason mine's a bit late arriving. Um, I need to get Slug as well. Uh, once I get once Swoop arrives and, and I manage to try and get Slug, I will have the entire set. So let's have a look, see at little Wheelie here. If I can get the whiny little twat off, this Wheelie doesn't transform. It is articulated to a point. This arm can kind of do this. In, out, and just kind of, yeah. So it, it's got 360, but there's no elbow bend because the whole point is it's positioned for his, uh, for this. But this arm can only go 360 swivel, and it is obviously angled like this for a reason, and um, so that it basically goes like that. In the position that he's shooting his this when he's on Grimlock he basically kind of just sits with his legs open like this and he just sort of just two little pegs go into the side into these bits here uh, on either side of Grimlock's head and then he just kind of sits there and in this position he you know it's wheelie nobody likes wheelie really I don't think I won't say nobody does. I mean, obviously, the whole idea of this guy was supposed to be, obviously, t to try and maybe bring in a new generation of children for the 86 film. And it's just a new additional character that they came up with. Famously voiced by uh, Mr. Frank Welker, of course. And, yeah, it's just really, really... It's it's Wheelie, but the fact that it comes with him, because, obviously, it, Wheelie becomes good friends... They both become good friends, Grimlock and Wheelie. So it makes sense him being included in this box set. A nice uh, paint application to him as well, considering he doesn't transform or anything. But it does have a bit of a nice at, uh, you know, application of paint and stuff to him. And that head sculpt's quite nice as well. Bringing Grimlock back into it then, he is just really, really, really nice. Just such a lovely figure. It, he really, really is. These white... Um, are articulated, they've got little ball, like not ball joint, but they've got, you know, an anchor point there on, on the elbows. And then obviously, 
they sort of just move a little bit like this the head however as you can see the mouth opens it can look up it can look down it kind of it actually kind of clicks into place as well i'll see that whole head is 360 swivel um, and that's that's that the arms that's oh, sorry the the arms well they are arms obviously he's robot mode arms but in this mode his legs they are basically just full articulation because obviously they are obviously his main main arms in robot mode and then we just come to the back again you know it the beautiful colors on these multicolored bits the blue the red and the green just so nice he's just such a lovely lovely figure so in order to transform grimlock then uh, we basically can prize the prize this up and just bring the head up like this and then this these bits will just come up and to the sides then the head inside comes up like that and just clicks into place now what you do is you can unpeg the gold chest bit being very careful so this comes up and then just rests back up to create his chest plate of course these arms will then come down to the sides and then the fists just get your fingernail in there they come out like that and then just close these golden claw bits up if you wished now we come to the tail split the tail completely in half and the legs will come split so now what we do is i think oh yes this bit here goes along so they just come along these bits these white bits are the tip of the tail they just go in like this straight into that recess on both sides we do it like that turn him around and you just bring the legs down and as you can see those legs are actually on a kind of like a multiple uh, articulated part and as you can see there's like a white clip in there so you just sort of bring bring those that leg together and it just kind of splits into place or snaps into place should i say like that these bits here they they come off and then you just kind of bring these up i will sort sort this one out in a minute these back bits of the legs come together once you've done all that and they just click into place and then that heel bit clicks into place as well and there he is so there is grimlock now transformed and in robot mode doesn't he just look beautiful absolutely awesome just give you a look see at the top half of him I believe i think this is supposed to just kind of go down a bit more so that's that so that's the backpack bit all the nice detail on that head underneath as you see there and all the different bits of detail in these pieces it is just a lovely lovely figure it really really is it, it's basically kind of like a smaller version of a masterpiece with the the sheer quality of the of the nice molded detail in in the chest here and in that chest there is indeed a autobot symbol um but no you can't but you can just see it in the right light which is really nice as you can see that head sculpt is just absolutely fantastic just look at how nice that is it just that visor nice dark blue like a blue there you got something reflective within see it's reflecting off reflecting the gold a little bit on the top of his head there that's nice like a little like a sticker like a mirror sticker or something and you've got this like a gunmetal gray dark gray kind of combination to the head itself 
He just looks really, really nice. He still stand very well on his own. I'm just holding him for review purposes. But as you can see, he's pretty sturdy. But he's just very nice. He really, really is. So like a full articulation then. Leg goes up to about there. Bend to about there. Foot pivot. 360 swivel. Lovely, slight little bit of ratchet on those legs, on those arms, as well as the legs in alt mode. Articulation, elbow, forearm swivel. And those fists also move as well. That head is on a proper ball joint. Yeah, so articulation, you can get some good articulation out of him. You know, he's really, really good. So then, the last thing I need to show you is, in fact, his gun. So, this gun is just jet black, as you can see. Well, the same colour as his head, actually. It is a nice, it's got a really nice, like a two-tone mirror effect on it. Obviously, in the shady bits, it just looks jet black. But, yeah, in, in reflection, it is actually like a dark grey. But it's just got that lovely, when you're moving it about in the light, as you can see, it's just got this lovely sheen on it. You know, because that's the whole idea what they're trying to go with. It's a weapon. It's got a sheen on it. I know, obviously, I origin. I think, I think his weapon isn't just, just this base color. I believe his color, his gun is actually kind of like very similar color palette to the rest of his body. Uh, so you've got like lighter grays, and I think you've got reds in there as well. So this will then quite simply go into his fist, and there we have it. Very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice. Just look at the size of that thing. It just suits him really well, having a massive big blaster like that. It's just so big. But that is SS86 Grimlock with Wheelie. Little Wheelie. Let me just place him. Just bring this up a bit. And then hopefully I can just get him to just sit on there. I was just going to be an absolute asshole and not let me. Yay! Little little wheelie with Grimlock. Just such a great, great figure. I really, really do. I'm just so happy to finally get him. And there we have it. Thank you ever so much for watching my review on this guy. Yes. SS86 Grimlock. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. More videos, more reviews coming very, very soon. Yeah. Be awesome, take care, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.